Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have our first example for which we should try to find the equivalent resistance. So we can try to use our technique here. Again, the general rule is that we look for the point in the circuit that's farthest away from the source right here. And we try to find two branch points. So here's a branch point and here's a branch point as far away from the battery as possible. And we're going to simplify the circuit between those two branch points. Those are two resistors in parallel, so the equivalent resistance of those two can be found by using the product over the sum rule. So we're going to take these two resistors and combine those into a single resistor. So then we're going to redraw the circuit that will look as follows. We still have the two ohm resistor here. There's the branch. Here we're now going to have a single resistor instead of the two. We still have our four ohm resistor here. This is our two ohm resistor. Uh, let's see here, then we have our 8 ohm resistor down here and we still have our battery. This. So what is our equivalent resistor now? So let's use the product over the sum. So we have 12 times 6 divided by 12 plus 6, so that's equal to 72 divided by 18, which is equal to 4. So this equivalent resistor of those two resistors in parallel is now a 4 ohm resistor. Now we can go ahead and take a look at these two branch points. So, so we have a branch point over here, we have a branch point over here, and we're going to simplify the circuit between those two branch points. But notice in the top of the two branches we have two in series. We should combine those first. So we're going to redraw our circuit and we have our 2 ohm resistor. Now these two will be combined into a single resistor. We still have our 8 ohm resistor down here, like so, and then back to the battery. So that's our 12 volt battery, 12 volts. So notice we still have our 2 ohm resistor. Always mark what's the same. We still have our 8 ohm resistor down here, but now we have a 4 ohm and a 4 ohm combined in series, so 4 plus 4 equals 8. And let's indicate which two we're combining. We're combining these two resistors right here into a single resistor. That now becomes an 8 ohm resistor. And now again, let's draw two branch points right there. And now we're going to simplify the circuit between those two. Now those two are in parallel, so we use the product over the sum rule. 8 times 8 divided by 8 plus 8, which is 64 divided by 16, which is 4. So that can now be drawn into a equivalent resistor of just 4 ohms. So that gives us a 2 ohm resistor. There's our equivalent resistor. There's our battery. So what we've done now is we've taken these two resistors in parallel and turned them into a single resistor over here. Notice we have this still as a 2 ohm resistor. This now becomes equivalent 4 ohm resistor from here and that's a 12 volt battery. Finally, we're going to now combine those two into a single resistor. So this is now going to turn into a single equivalent resistor with a 12 volt battery. And these two can be combined by simply adding them together and there's a 6 ohm resistor. Now, the equivalent resistor for all those resistors that are drawn here is the single 6 ohm resistor. This 6 ohm resistor acts exactly like the whole rest of the circuit combined. All these resistors combined in this formation is exactly the same to the circuit as the 6 ohm resistor. If we now want to find the current to the circuit, we can say that I is equal to V over R, which in this case is 12 volts divided by 6 ohms, the equivalent resistance, and so that's equal to 2 amps. That means that the current flowing away from the battery into the circuit is going to be a 2 amp current. Of course, that 2 amp current flows to the 2 ohm resistor and then splits up in various ways through the other resistors. When it comes back together here, this again will be a 2 amp current flowing back to the battery. And that's why we need to find the equivalent resistance to see what the current will be in a circuit like that. And that's how it's done.